And first alert weather day is in place for tomorrow morning. We got light snow coming in, colder conditions and windy. Now we're not going to get a ton of snow, but it will be a little change we got going on. Already tonight, we've got a little bit of light snow going on on the radar from Denver down to Highlands Ranch over into Conifer here in a bigger swath, if you will, from the uh, Palmer Divide head through Elbert County, Lyman Deer Trail and all the way up into Sterling. We're also getting a little bit of snow backing up into northern Weld County and the storm system is not even here yet. It is bringing snow into the mountains here, but here's the big guy sliding out of Salt Lake City into Wyoming here with the cold front as this moves through tonight. It's not very organized here, but it will be enough to bring some snow for us after midnight tonight from Denver all the way out over northeastern Colorado just in time for the commute tomorrow morning. This is 8 o'clock in the morning. You can see snow right along the I-25 corridor here. Now again, we're not going to see a lot of snow, but could see a couple of inches uh, and up north, especially from Fort Collins, Green really over into northeastern Colorado, heavier snow that way. And in some cases we could have some snow sticking out there. Take a look at the snowfall forecast about one to three inches of snow for Collins Boulder into Denver here and then a heavier swath again Sterling into Yuma out here. Three to six inches of snow could be possible by the end of the day out there along with 40 mile per hour winds and that's where that advisory is in place out there. If you're in the mountains, I'm looking for about one to four inches of snow in some of the central mountains, just not going to be a real big mountain and snowmaker for us. So low temperatures tonight, 20s and teens out across the eastern plains will be single digits in the mountains and highs tomorrow. It's going to be a chilly, cold day for us. 33 in Roxborough, 35 in Golden, 39 in Firestone. Same thing in Greeley, along with some wind gusts anywhere from 25 to 30 mile per hour. So that'll drive the wind chill uh, down even colder than that. So cold wherever you look across the state. If you want to warm up, you got to go to Springfield. 50 degrees down there, 20s and 30s for most of the lower elevations with teens and 20s up high. Your drive forecast tomorrow morning. Light snow in the morning. I got yellow lights, 6, 7, 8 a.m. Not a lot of snow on the roadways. Most of it will be on the grassy surfaces, but there might be some moisture on the bridges and overpasses you got to watch out for. And then in the afternoon, a couple of flurries, but green lights. I don't think it's going to be a big deal for us. 37, though, will be the high temperature tomorrow with uh, 17 for the overnight low. And if you watch the wind vectors here as we go through this, really don't see a strong upslope here. It hits the front range and then it comes out of the northwest here. So that's the reason I'm just not expecting a lot of snow to hit in the Denver metro area. 49 on Tuesday. Warming trend though on